did a lot, a lot, and with just one single attention just to help with the, the higher energy from the original universe. Every day I thank the councils and thank the power of God and the cosmic for helping humankind to become more enlightened, more loving, and peaceful. Helping the needy is really helping yourself. The reward is more than anything you can imagine. Good boy, and I love you forever, forever. You're my best friend. It's not how much you have. It's the best you give. Help yourself, you know, cultivate, meditate, pray. You keep yourself in the same path, in the straight area. Keep your mind clean and determined. God bless you. I love you. I just show you the way. You just have to walk. You see? That's why the more positive, the more meditation, the more your life change. Okay? Positive, positive. Get more people. There are ten more people who can sit here. Be quickly. Elderly people, come here. Come. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Last night I told you I gave uh, some of my favorite dog food to, to, to you. It's not, it's not dog food, it's humans. <laughs> Human snacks, it's just I feed my dog, you know. Uh, humans food. Sometimes they like uh, dog food, you know, prepared food. Sometimes they like human food, like spaghetti, pizza, some simple food like that. <laughs> and then noodles, you know, I have to, we have to provide that for them. Come here, come here, come here, ba ba, yeah, right here, have a place. Just don't sit on the street in case we have to run, you know, some way. Yeah. You're good now? Yeah, also there I can sit. Yeah, a couple more. We make the best out of our place, yeah? How come nobody sit upstairs? There's some more upstairs, and people can see me also. Mm. Yeah, okay, you sit here, Ba. You done? You good there? Comfy, yeah? yeah. Try to be comfy. I'll be short. You want me to be short or be long or be... <laughs> okay, okay. There are two stories we can listen to today. One is a long story, one is a little shorter story. The long story is about the Brahma, the king of the Brahma level, came down to earth to plead with the Buddha to uh, continue teaching humans. That's a longer story. It deals with uh, all, all the, many of the Buddha's past life, yeah? past life sacrifice. The second is shorter, is uh, the story of the Buddha's past life with his uh, arch enemy cousin, Devadatta. He always tried to harm him all the time. Any life, <laughs> any life the Buddha appear, do something good, he always behind him and, and try to make trouble, even want to kill him. Yeah, and unsuccessfully assassinating him. So which one you like to hear? Yeah. All of them. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Here, come up here, Ma. Here, Mama, up here, up here. Come here, right here. There's a space here for you. Here, here, don't sit on the street. Come here. Here. Yeah, you're so beautiful. You should sit right here. Right next to me so we can compare which one is... <laughs> It's the beauty of the day. Yeah, sit there. It don't matter. No, no matter. We are all old already. Just sit. Now, woman, man, don't care. 
I think when I'm here, you don't care who's man or woman. <laughs> Only when I'm not here, then <laughs> you're bored and you begin looking. Ah, oh, that's a man, no? Yeah, good-looking guy. Maybe I'm trying something. <laughs> Uh, but when I'm here, I think you don't care about even God comes down. <laughs> Is that not so? Yes. Yeah, I know everything. <laughs> Master knows everything. It's true what you said. Master knows everything. Okay, now, are you okay? Translation, everything? If not, just try. My God, what to do? But we have some good news. We found some places, you know, even even nearby and immediately can use. Hey, come here. Michelle, you. Give me the report that you, you have gathered. Come, whatever you can. There were some islands, you know. And, and, and no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, which one? But in a mountain where I was, you know, where I told you no electricity, no water, and difficult uh, re re reception of uh, telephone. Yeah, I have to go to a certain place and wait until, if, if lucky, something comes. Yeah? Sometimes not. Yeah. Sometimes send only half SMS and it say, it say, no service. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of a sudden, you know, like that. So sometimes if I send you some SMS, there's some, I uh, would say, dictative fella, dictative uh, mistakes, then don't mind. You understood, it's okay. One S more, one T less, don't matter as long as you understand. Okay, huh? Yeah. Because the telephone, my telephone is so small, you know, this is small, Vinci kind of word, and I have to take forever to, and then mistake and change again, and then, and if I forget, I push the wrong button, all gone. <laughs> oh my God! Oh God! Then I have to. Oh, I blame myself again, and then say, "Okay, I'm not doing it. No." But then I say, "Oh, you're pity for them. You know, they need to hear something from me. Know that I'm alive at least, and then learn something. You know. Even if I cannot see them, I contact sometimes. Or I guess you're happy to hear. Yes. Yeah. So I. Oh, I sit again and be all patient, <laughs> gather all my patience from previous existence and <laughs> future existence, come together and tap, tap, tap. <laughs> you know, it's a very tiny little phone, and, and it is so very, very difficult if you, you know, because every phone is different, even the same company. The good news will save later, okay? <laughs> Story is coming, yeah. <laughs> This is also nice, you know, to relax a little. You want to know also a little bit of my life, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you think Master is always pretty looking, you know. <laughs> High heel, lift stakes, and bah, yeah? It's not like that. This is just a part of, of the show, okay? My real show is not here. <laughs> no, the real show is, of course, it's real also, but it's not, it's not the real thing, yeah? I'm just colorful with you to make it look more pleasant to the eyes and you pay more attention to what I say. Okay? That's all. Okay? More pleasant to you. And it's also heaven. Make me do it, so I do it. Same with the blonde hair, whatever. Whatever I have to do, I do it. Okay? Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, what did I say? Yeah, the, each phone is different. You see? Sometimes, okay, here you delete, you know? And there, you send. But the other phone, same company, you know. Here, send, delete, this send. And <laughs> when I habitually push the button, oh my God, <laughs> three pages of text, gone and nowhere to be found. And I try to remember again what I have written. <laughs> I try to punch again in this, all these small, small numbers. I'm telling you, yeah. What all I have to do for you, huh? 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 <laughs> no, no, no. This is nothing really. Yeah, and and some of the 
you know, uh, some of the, 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 the residents, long-term residents, they bought me uh, uh, several phones, you know, those are first class, you know, smartphone, iPhone, e-phone, B-phone, A-phone, all kind of phone. This kind of too good, you know, I mean, I just breathe and everything change. <laughs> I wanted to, to, to te text and then I just I jump and then it go. <laughs> this is too good, too good, yeah. And then I just itching and you know I put my hand up and then everything's erased. Oh God, oh God, I can't deal with it. Or my dog come and wow and then it's gone. <laughs> they want to ask me what I do, you know what. <laughs> And then it's gone, you know, just like that. So I'm sticking to this uh, manual system, you know. Yeah, all I need is really just to call or to text, you know. Actually, sometimes I wish I know better, you know, like to email, you know, easy so I don't have to use a phone or can write longer and easier, you know. Because with this phone, remember, I text you four times and I say SMS number one and to be continued, number two. I'm worried you read only one and you erase the rest. You don't know, you see? So I have to say number one, number two, number three, number four. And after that, I have to confirm with them whether you receive four SMS. And then they have to tell me the, the first one beginning with what was and end with what was. So I know that they have got the whole thing or not. It's not all that easy. I wish I know better. Before, I learned a little bit of computer when when we still has SMTV, you know, Supreme Master Television, just to, to be able to take out the, the context and then change it and, 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 and uh, you know, write it all down where it's wrong, where to be edited, and then send it back to them, you know. But then uh, if I don't do it every day, I forgot how. When I sit in front of computer again a year later, I say, uh, well, what, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Which button? <laughs> and then the mouse keep running anywhere. I don't even see the mouse anymore. <laughs> I just tap it and then it's gone. I say, where's, where's, where's the fire gone? <laughs> We're so fast. Yeah, so you know. It's not nice to be, in the, to be dependent, but I can't help it. I have so many work to do and they're not in the same nature. I can't always sit in front of a computer and practice this. See what I mean? Okay, but nevertheless, it's everything is it's working enough. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of talk already. If you practice them all, I don't even need to talk for another hundred years. Mm. Okay, we stay here for now. Okay, you try to bear it. Okay, you can go to the bathroom anytime you want during the meditation. Even it's not a strict retreat. All right, and we just have to be flexible with the situation. Then it's okay. I am so sorry for the lack of facilities, but you came so fast and uh, <laughs> uninvited. I, <laughs> I'm also surprised to see so many people. I thought maybe just a couple of hundreds from European, you know, people. Because let's face it, you all have to work, no? How can you just run so fast and then no working or no nothing, just like that? And then from all over the world, you know. Did you receive that all over the world people can come? There are such an email? Yes or no? No. Yes? yes. 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 Is there everybody or just say European? No. Everybody from USA. I know, I know. Yeah. The men, the, the email? All, only say European. No? no? Oh, then, it, then it's another email. Because uh, the email that I agree to is only for European. Yeah, because I wasn't sure that I'm going to stay after the weekend. So why would I invite you when I'm not here? Understand? I wasn't sure. Yeah, oh my God. Okay, then it's another. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you do this, guys, because it's not me. I can't email, you know that. Yeah? I can't computer, you know that. It's not me. Can't blame me, okay? It's not me. <laughs> I allow only European. Yeah. And they ask me, other people can come also. I say, maybe later. Maybe later. I say, maybe later. Later means 
I don't know when, you know? Because <laughs> I thought I came just a weekend, you know, because there are a group of people who were very, very sincere, and it touched my soul, so I came for them, and I thought, by the way, if I stay here weekend, the European people is nearer, they come quick, you know? If they are lucky, they catch me on time. And now you're coming all over, I have to stay. Okay, if, if you're not coming again, if, if no more people coming, yeah, okay? Uh, because for one bus, it's about 4,500 euros. This is about 6,000 American dollars, or? No, it doesn't matter about that. It's just difficult to, to organize, you know? Then we get lost and it's all of that. Uh, number one, if we go to, on the train, it's similar or more, yeah? And then it's more, they're quicker by train, uh, five hours something. By bus, it's 10 hours, yes? But then I'm so worried we get lost. <laughs> Too many buses, you know? And then this house you have never been. Not every, no, no one knows where it is. So I cannot like put one person there, you know, in one bus and then in case you get lost, yeah? Because you speak all kinds of languages. It's very difficult to translate on the bus. And I was thinking, I was imagining last night if we go like 10 bus, every hour I go changing one bus and I, I, t I tell a story on the bus, so it saved me a lot of time. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's not easy to have so many buses at the same time. And then also we have to pay a lot. We just have to organize more, like somebody suggests that then in the night we, we put the earphone instead, you see? Yes. I'm not like an automatic machine that you put a coin in and then I come at 2 o'clock and talk, 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 4 o'clock finished. You know what I mean? I can't. I have to meditate also. I have to organize many things in, in the spiritual level and soul level and mental level, emotional level, and organize physical level as well, yeah? Yes. I have to worry about, you know, where to put you and do what, what, you know, all kind of things. And like last night, I saw too many people now, and if more come in, then it's just not good. Of course, you bear it, and you, you are very patient, and I appreciate that. But uh, you are guests. I want to have more comfy for you. Mm? So we're looking for a new place. They have a couple here. It doesn't matter if it's not okay, we just have to bear it, you know? We have to weather the first few months, few weeks, a few years <laughs> until it's all straightened out, just like here, yeah? It's nothing can happen, nothing more can happen, yeah? So if it's good, then we can buy that one. It's, uh, we just have to live maybe more simple, you know? Yeah? They have about... Oof, 3,000 square meter. It's, it's okay for the immediate use, yes, until we find some maybe better if we need, a bigger or something like that. But right now it's still better than here, yeah? Bigger, yeah? So you can put, it's a camping site, if we can buy it. And I'm told that the owner is vegan. And then uh, she says she could even reduce some of the price for us. But I said, never mind, it's not... It's not much a big deal, you know, not much big deal. One million, more or less, it's no big deal. We, we, we will pay what she asks, yeah. We will not bargain or anything. If she wants to, she can do it herself, but we don't, we don't ask for any favor. Because she also has to make profit, yeah, to live on after the camp, yeah. Uh, so I hope we can buy that, yeah. I don't even know what it is yet, I, I've just been told. It's not very far from the sea. End of it. It's next to next to the beach. Yeah, but if it's on the other end, then maybe half an hour to the beach or 15, 10 minutes. It depends. It's very near the beach. Yeah, and if you guys want to go to the beach also sometimes, then you can do. Yes. Uh, Oh, no, it cannot be half an hour, that's too much. No, no, it cannot be. Maybe 20 minutes, okay? Yeah, I, I bought clothes there all the time. I, <laughs> because it's very cheap and comfortable, you know? 
it's a dirt color and gray color. They made it from China. Yeah, <laughs> just suit me fine. <laughs> and you can wear it at home, sleep on it, because it doesn't have belt and stuff like that, you know? And it's, it's just fine for me because Chinese sell things smaller, you see, for me. I am a regular customer. <laughs> and, and they also have a, oh, it's a small uh, area, but it has, it's very prosperous. It has even a workshop, you know, when people can come and eat as much as you want and then you pay, yeah? But it's mostly meat. I went there once just to see what it is. And all, all I could eat was some bread and watermelon. <laughs> That's the only vegan I saw over there. And some water, yeah. So probably it's good. And there's another hotel in Hungary here with 60 hotel rooms. That's not enough. No, no, no. Large property, okay, good. Conference room, swimming pool, outdoor building. So we, we, it's no problem. We can repair. Just 60 rooms, I think, is not enough. Do you? You know, 60 rooms is nothing. Except it is... Except... <laughs> They say located on the Buddha site <laughs> because it's Buddha pest, you see? <laughs> so they say one side is Buddha, the other side is pest. <laughs> we don't like pest, do we? So they say it's on the Buddha side. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it is good, it's good. It's just, I don't, no neighbors nearby, yeah. Near city, 20 minutes by bus. It's not bad. It's just that six. Tea is not enough, hey? Oh, could use just for toilet facility, you know? And then we camp, if, if it's allowed. But it's on the hill, then I'm not sure how much land we have, you see? Sometimes it's uh, 100,000 uh, 100, 100, square meters, but on a hilly side, then we can't use much. But maybe just 10,000 10, square meters, but flat. It's easier, understand? Yeah. So maybe we choose a camp first. It's nearby, we don't have to move. We don't have too much trouble moving. Yeah. And the price is affordable. And I stay there at the gate with yellow ribbons. <laughs> yeah. The best scenery, best uh, facilities, you know, like for shopping and many things that is rare to find, like your blessed food and stuff like that. Mm. Then it should be good, but Hungary, maybe not. Mm? They rent it for initiation. Ah, they rent it one time. It's very, very good. Okay. I prefer that we stay around near the ocean, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I like it. I like the ocean. Uh, so uh, many of the places I have is very near ocean or right in front of ocean. Yeah. I feel more open. Uh, less oppressive, somehow. I don't go to the beach, but I know the beach is nearby. That's enough for me. Understand? Yeah. I don't have time to go to the beach, but I know I could go if I want to. That is a difference. And if you want to, you can go. You see? Take a little swim or something like that. You know, combine holiday with business. Yeah? <laughs> with serious heaven business. and. An earthly pleasure, yeah. <laughs> I like that. For years, I always looking for big place next on the beach, you know. But it's not easy to find. I almost I found one in. Uh, one time I found it in in Mexico, but then my visa ran out only one month, and I was thinking of you. If everybody can come only one month, you know, it's too inconvenient. Yeah. Suppose you want to stay three months then, you know, <laughs> too much. They think, they say you can extend and all that, but I just, I prefer without bureaucracy too much. Okay then, huh? I found it, but it's also very small. Now I think about it. It's too small now. On the beach, you can't buy a big one, no? And then they told me there's another one, bigger one, but uh, at that time I couldn't afford it. So there you go. Mm. All right. This is the, the, the one nearby. Aha. And they have island. They have many islands. I'm supposed to stay in island, but 
Yeah, I feel better all the time. Even Italy is like almost an island, you know? <laughs> and uh, Spain also, yeah. I feel well in these countries. You see what I mean? I'm a very good neighbor. Really, whoever knows it should think I'm a very good neighbor. I don't take advantage of people. And before some, some other group want to rent our place to do something, I say, give it them for free. They don't have to pay any rent, nothing. They come and do their conference as long as they want. And if you can, you, can, you bring them food, cook for them. I don't charge anything. You see, I'm a really good neighbor. I look in the mirror and I know I'm good. But I don't know why. No, not good looking, good, good heart. <laughs> The mirror lied to me, I told you already. The mirror told me I'm good-looking and young. I said, no, I know it. When I go outside and look on the, on the sunlight, it's different than in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, most of the room that they, they have for me is so dark, you know? The bathroom is dark. And if I open, then people can see me. See, so I have to close it and it's dark and the light is not bright enough. And if it's too bright and it hurt my eyes and it's streaming tears, then, then it's the, the, the makeup is ruined. <laughs> so I don't know if the color is right or not. I don't care what you say. I put some on and that's that. <laughs> yeah, wow, we have a lot of island here. I have to take time to look, okay? And, and, and this area, I have told him to contact her to see. And then I can tell you it's done. Yeah, right now I don't know yet, okay? I just know it now. I mean, an hour ago. Hmm. So I just want to let you know, so at least you have some hope, okay? <laughs> oh, we have airport also, wow. Two hundred kilometers from center of Madrid. Uh, Ciudad Real is a city in Spain, 75,000 people, capital of the province of Ciudad Real. Uh, have also a high-speed rail, li rail line, 28,000 terminal, designed for 5 million passengers per year. Wow. Uh, has used for three years, but deserted since 2012, so the facility should be still very good. Google map, there's no large lake nearby, but it seems to show two large ponds or small lakes right beside the airport. Okay. They sell it for 100 million euro and then drop to 80 million and then 40 million. And then it's all failed. No, now no minimum asking price. And from the article on link below, it sounds like it would be a silent auction. Okay. Wow, so many. We have a lot of hope. And there's another ah, Campo Rosso. This is the one they, they, they described to me about rooms and stuff. OK. It's for immediate use. It's OK. I hope there's a lot of trees. That's the only thing, you know? For you to hang your hammock, hang your uh, mosquito net, and put your tent. The, the house is not important to me. <laughs> As long as there are enough uh, toilet, bathroom, yeah, the house, we don't care about house. It's just there so that it's there, you know, have electricity, have an address, official, and no ever big house enough for all of you, ever. <laughs> so it had to be like St. Peter's Square, you know, in Italy. People come with their own umbrella and, and uh, raincoat, they come every Sunday. Maybe we have to do the same. You know, if we have a place, and you have to come every Sunday with raincoat umbrella. <laughs> and I come on the balcony talking. <laughs> 10 minutes to 10 hours, and then you go home. Yeah, that's the best system. You don't know it. Then I have no worry about anything. I don't have to build house, I don't have to build toilet, nothing. I don't know what they do in St. Peter. There's no toilet there, are they? Is there any public toilet outside? Yeah, I don't think so. So many people. Just a big square, that's good. And a high balcony, that's all I need. <laughs> big, flat, you know, empty square. And a high balcony. And I come out, hello. <laughs>
Can you see me from there? <laughs> yeah, only, only once a Sunday, then nobody say anything, I guess. No? But you guys just want to stay and stay and stay and stay. Yeah, yeah. All right, huh? Done? Yeah. Now we read the long story or the short story? Long story. Mm, yeah. You guys don't need to go to the bathroom or anything? It's already four o'clock. You're supposed to go to eat. <laughs> okay. I tell the short story, okay? And then maybe evening or tomorrow again, all right? According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Uh, you want the story of the Buddha or the story of the uh, of the person why he he wouldn't die? <laughs> huh? The 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 fish big fish swallow him, but he wouldn't die inside. You want that story? <sighs> yes. That's because he kept the precept of non-killing, yeah, non-violent, non-harming others. So even the fish swallow him as he was a baby, uh, a child. He won't die for many hours in there. <laughs> okay, I read, I read on. First I have heard from Anand again. Yeah? Once the Buddha was in uh, a country called Ayuetki, in another uh, another garden, the bamboo garden, not the, the golden garden yesterday, okay? It's another country, yeah? In that country, there was um, uh, court officers, of officials, you know, like uh, the, mm, the second prime minister, yeah, of that country. He's very, very rich, uh, but he doesn't have any child, yeah? No, doesn't have any 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 boy, you know. You know, in old time, boys are the, you know, <laughs> important, and we women are nothing. So don't ever be reborn in the old time again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays we have more equality, yeah, more or less, yes. And then he heard that uh, nearby there is. Um, a place of worship, worship a, um, a god, you know, heavenly god. They are so, small god, you know, not, not the almighty god. Uh, in, in, in nearby, and everyone in the vicinity very, very, uh, believe very much in, in this god, yeah? They always come, make offering, and... Uh, Whatever they ask for, they get. Yeah? Okay. So the, this uh, uh, second prime minister also went there. Yeah? Make offering and kneel in front of the altar and request that he say, Dear beloved uh, Deva, Deva, I have never had a son, but I heard that you are very, very uh, generous and kind and granted all the wishes. 
So anyone who asks something from you, they will get it. So please, I come here to beg you, uh, this year, give me a son. If, if you granted me this wish, I will bring more uh, gold, silver, and uh, to, 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 to decorate your, your statue. If not, <laughs> I'm going to demolish your residence and then I use, uh, uh, you know, dung to, to put all over your body, you know, the statue's body. And then after that, he left. <sighs> the one who took care of this uh, worship area sweat like hell. Sorry, like, uh, like sweating. <laughs> like uh, terrible labor, you know? And he, he thought to himself, Oh dear, this person, not only in a powerful position, he's influential, he's rich. And he, he came here to ask for a son. I don't have enough merit to help him in this position. Uh, but if, you know, this is another uh, invisible God, ne? the God who, who, who keep the, the worship area, yes? And the, the real God is uh, Manibala, yeah? Another one. So he said, if we don't help him, then he's going to, to, uh, to how do you say, degrade, you know, the God. So he came up and talked to the, the chief God, you know, the real God. He said, uh, please, I am doing my duty, taking care of this worshiping place. But today, or yesterday, the prime minister, the, the second prime minister of uh, this country have told us that if you don't give him a son, he's going to demolish everything. If you give him a son, he will bring gold and silver and precious stone to decorate your body, your statues. So uh, I, I have no, no, I have not enough power to help him. Uh, please, what can I do? What can we do? So the, um, the god, the Manibala, and then go up to the higher god, you know, <laughs> and ask him <laughs> for advice. Oh, man. I guess up to now, huh? What's wrong? No. I guess up to now are the citizens they know how what to ask, you know. They don't they don't ask for such impossible things. So everything they ask, they get. No, like okay, please marry my daughter to that boy or oh, whatever. Yeah, you know, or give me a couple of thousand euros so that I can go and retreat, and maybe <laughs> <coughs> somehow find me the way to earn this money. For example, there's some small things, and it's easy to to please. But this is a, something different. Whether you have Children or not, it's written in the stars. You see, it's your destiny to have or not have. This is beyond their power, yeah? Therefore, he is scared. So he go up to the higher level, God. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, probably one of the astral God. And then one of the smaller local astral God. And then this guy, this God also said, oh, I, I, I also can, 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 cannot do this. <laughs> So I, I had to go to the <laughs> higher god, the chakra god. Chakra god is uh, more or less like the chief god of the astral level. Yeah? Okay. I have to go up there. All right. And then he go up and kneel there and, you know, tell the chief god everything. Mm. Like that. Okay. Again, again. I don't have to read it again. <clears throat> and then so... The chakra god, chakra god, look around in his computer and saw that there is one person in this astral uh, world is going to die soon. So I said, don't worry, mm, I take care. So he called that person come up, you know, the astral being come up and say, I saw in the computer. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that your time is up soon, okay? So uh, nowadays there is a <laughs> second prime minister uh, in that, that country is uh, asking for a son. You, after you, uh, um, after your life is finished here, please come down and reborn, born, uh, reincarnate into that family, into the prime minister family, become his son, okay? Or not? Of course, yeah. In that house, you will have richness and power and you will lack nothing. Okay or not? Of course he's okay, no? What else can he do? Hmm? If he's dying and dying in a rich family, powerful family is better for him, no? Because it's not necessarily that you can do that. It's just because of this situation is special. So the God Chakra, you know, assign him into that rich and powerful family. Okay? Good, good. But then this person said to uh, Chakra God, <coughs> Please, sir, please, Your Majesty God. Wealth and uh, power mostly would make people blind <coughs> spiritually, make you indulge into <coughs> illusionary comfort <coughs> for temporary life. And many, because of, of that, because of position and wealth, have uh, lowered themselves to a very low level, even go to hell. So I would really prefer to go to any normal, reborn, to be born into any normal, uh, normal household, so that I would have a chance to go to become a monk, yeah, to be a renunciate to liberate myself from, from uh, imper impermanent nature of life, yeah? To, to liberate from life and death kind of cycle. It's the best for me. Please forgive me for declining this position. And then Shaka said, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, you listen to me. <laughs> You go <laughs> and be born in that family, and I will always uh, give my blessing and support and reminding you, okay? I won't let you go down. Okay, then the, the, the almost dying person said, okay, then Majesty, your Majesty say that, then, then I will not dare to oppose you, but please, 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 always watch out for me, because in the, in, in the Saba world, you know, samsara world, it's very easy to go astray, very easy to forget uh, what I wanted to do in life spiritually. So please, 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 always watch out for me, help me, support me, and lift me up if, whenever I fall down. <clears throat> Otherwise, if I go there, it's too much wealth, too much power, I might forget. Uh, my, my great uh, vow. Yeah, okay, so the, the Shakra God said, promised? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a few days later, he died. No, died from astral level and come down to the physical level and, uh, uh, you know, go into the conception of the mother, the wife of the... Uh, the second prime minister, sorry. It's very difficult for me to translate from <laughs> Vietnamese to English. So, of course, the, the lady of the prime minister, uh, after, uh, after pleading with the God, not too long after, she's pregnant, yeah, of course, and then, and then give birth to a son who is very beautiful, yeah and look very dignified and look very bright and good. Yeah. Uh, both of the father and mother very, very treasure him, yes. Uh, after, he, after he's born, so many, uh, um, how do you say, many good omen happen in, inside the house. Yes. 
and uh, everyone take care of him really, real good. Uh, so the uh, parents feel inclined to to know what's happening. You know why is there so many good, good uh, uh, lucky events happen in the house since he's born. So they invited an astrologer to come and have a look at him to see of his astrology. Yeah, and then also. Uh, according to that, give him a proper name, yeah, suitable name for such a distinguished uh, son. Yeah. And then the astrologer said, uh, "Ask, ask uh, what, 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 what? Yeah, <laughs> what happened?" And they told him everything. And then he said that uh, he uh, give him a name. Uh, it's very auspicious name, you know, meaning. Uh, he will always get what he needs, yeah? Right. And then, and then in the future, he will grow up a very, uh, a very uh, special person. He will be very intelligent. Whatever he learn, he will excel, ex- excel at it, yeah? But then there is one thing about this son of yours is that he prefer more learning the the teaching of the the truth you know like from the buddha for example and then he will realize sooner or later that this life is ephemeral sooner or later everything will disappear come from nowhere gone back to nowhere and then he will want to become a monk oh. That's it. And then one day he came up, truly, when he grown up, he come up to parents. He knew in front of his parents and say, uh, please, beloved parents, I'd like to, to, uh, to become a monk. They asked him why. They say, because to have this body, human body, is, is so extremely difficult already. And to be able to meet a living Buddha in your lifetime is even more rare. Because the Buddha came out, uh, come into the world, is, is to rescue all the souls and liberate them from birth and death and all the suffering. Please let me, <laughs> let me go and become his monk. And the parents say, "Oh, my dear son, yeah, to to practice spiritual truth is is very very good." But uh, why you want to torture yourself? Be a monk is not a very uh, comfortable life, you know? You have only one or two pair of clothes, you have only one bowl to go back in on the street like a poor homeless person, and rain or shine, you know, nobody takes care of you. Uh, I am the prime minister of the country, you know, high position, powerful. Uh, why don't you just you just stay home? We have only you as a son. If you if you go away, how would I? What would I do with all this money? <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> possession and power, and then then you leave me and your mom. You know, it and at the old age, uh, lonely and no no one to to rely on to take care on. Uh, uh, please don't do that, yeah. So the son uh, sends that the parents do not agree with his request, so he bow to them and get out. And from then on, day and night, he's very, very miserable. You know, his mood is very melancholy, and he was thinking to himself. Uh, if I if I kill myself, I kill this. Yeah, if I kill this uh, physical body, and then I will be reborn again in a very in a poorer family, normal family. Then I will be able to to become a monk as I want it, and then. After he thought like that, he went up into a very high mountain and he jumped down. 
to die. Well, he didn't die. <laughs> Not even a scratch. Yeah, and then later on, he went out to the river, jumped into the river, want to drown himself. He, his body just <laughs> flowing around on top of the water, same place. Don't go anywhere, I don't think. So he couldn't die. And then he came home, he drank poison, he drank poison, but still doesn't die. And then he finds so many, many other ways to kill himself. No, no success, he's still alive. And then he think of a way, you know, that he should um, and say, trespass the, the king's law, then the king will kill him. Yeah. That's he cannot escape. Yeah. He thought like that. So one time he keep waiting, and then one time the, the queen and uh, ladies in waiting, you know, the, the court lady come out in, to, in the middle of the, the king's uh, palace somewhere in the garden and, and in the mountain, fountain there to take a shower. So he took all their clothes and jewelry, everything, and then he take it outside. He go very openly. <laughs> he, he sneak in, yeah, but he went out openly with all the jewelry and the clothing of all the queens and the ladies. And then, of course, uh, the doorman yeah, <laughs> took him in, yeah, and then uh, tell the king. And the king was very angry. Tell the, uh, how to say the, his, uh, his bodyguard, bring him out into the guillotine to, to chop his head. Yeah. Uh, just, just to kill him, yeah? So in the beginning, archery squad shoot at him all at one time. All the arrow come to his body, just fell on the ground. <laughs> okay. And then, and then it doesn't come, it doesn't, and then the, the arrow not only fall on the ground, but fly back to the king. It doesn't hurt him, it's just that they fly, fly back and drop in front of him, kind of warning, you know. So the king was kind of a little <laughs> scared, yeah. And as, uh, he, then the king asked him, Oh, how, what are you? Are you from heaven? You from the ocean, a dragon uh, relative, or are you ghost or you know diva? How come you have such a miracle, miraculous power, a magical power? So the son say, uh, Your Majesty, I have one more private matter. Could you please be you know merciful and let me tell you? Mm -hmm. So the, the king said, yeah, just, just tell me, tell me if I can help you, I will help you. Because right now the king, I guess he realized that this guy is not a normal person. So he said, Your Majesty, I am not a heavenly being or a dragon or any ghost or diva. I am the son of your prime minister, second prime minister, because I want to renounce this life, become a monk under the Buddha, but my parents did not allow. So I want to die in order to be reborn in an easier family, normal family, to fulfill my wish, because I don't really care for this life, for this ephemeral nature of this world. But I have tried many ways. <laughs> I went to the mountain, throw myself down, I didn't die. I I jumped into the deep, deep, deep ravine and in the river, I didn't die. I drink poison, I also could not die. I do many things, I could not die. So I thought this is the only way <laughs> that I can die because the king will kill me if I, you know, uh, trespass the law. And this is the worst thing you could do, you know, take the, away the clothes and the jewelry of the queen. You know, <laughs> the jealousy alone will kill him already, not to talk about the law, right? Eh? Yeah. So, so this is the truth. 
please, Your Majesty, be merciful and order my parents <laughs> to let me become a monk. And then the king said, oh, this, this is no problem. It's no problem. I will tell the prime minister. And then after a while, he, because the king himself, you know, is a disciple of the Buddha, that's why it's so easy. But what kind of disciple of the Buddha want to kill somebody just because he stole some clothes of your wife? Ask me. Don't ask. <laughs> because you know my answer, okay? All right. All right, then uh, when he came, one time he has, he, he went to, uh, how do you say, pay homage to the Buddha one time, one day, and then by the way, he told the Buddha of this boy a wish, yeah? He took him with him and told the Buddha. And then the Buddha accepted him right away. He became a monk. Yeah, at last, yeah? Yes. And then after the Buddha give him initiation and tell him things, you know, five precepts and blah, 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 yeah? And then he became Arahant, yeah. And then the king, Asate, kneeled down in front of the Buddha and pleaded with the Buddha to explain to him what kind of merit did the son of the prime minister had earned how many lifetimes that even he jumped from the mountain, he didn't die. <laughs> you know, in the river, he wouldn't drown. Jump into the deep ravine, he didn't break anything. His bone and scratch nothing, even drink poison, didn't die. And then even arrow will not pierce his body. Yes. And then now even has such a uh, great merit to meet you and become your monk, and then already became arahant, meaning uh, liberated from birth and death forever. So the Buddha said, long, 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 <laughs> long, 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 ago, yes, there was a big country called Balanai. Uh, that Kings, the king of that country is Famadat. Uh, one time, he took his uh, queen and all the concubines, go to the uh, oh, the forest, you know, to have a picnic. Yeah, and then they have fun. They have music and they eat and they drink wine and all kind of uh, fun. Yes. And then, uh, while they were listening to them, to the uh, to the concubine singing and making music, and he heard one person outside, outside of uh, at the edge of the forest, was uh, I say, uh, replying, singing back in a reply. So he was very very angry. So he asked his uh, bodyguard to get uh, that person, and then take him out to kill. And then at that time, his prime minister happened to pass by and say, oh, oh, why do you want to kill this person? What has he done? And then the soldier, you know, the, the killing squad say, yeah, because he, he replied the singing of the king's concubines. Oh, man, what a sinful thing. <laughs> I told you what kind of king, huh? Last night I told you the king of all, they are good, huh? but not all of them are good. Only the Buddha, when he was a king, he's good. Well, some king are good too. Yeah. So this is the king that you're not supposed to be. Understand? Supposed to become king, don't be like that, huh? Got it? Okay. So the, uh, the prime minister was thinking, just only that and kill person. <laughs> he thinks like that about the, the king. So he say, this is not logical. It's unreasonable. Stay there, wait. I go and talk to the queen, the king first. And then he say, Your Majesty, uh, th that person has not committed a death sentence 
Okay. He said he, he, he didn't commit the crime that's married death. Yeah? It's not very heavy crime. Uh, he just, um, how you say, responds to the, the lady singing, but he didn't, you didn't see him, you know? And also there is no uh, sexual molestation or connection of any kind. Yeah, so please, can you forgive him? Yes. Okay, so the king uh, uh, feel okay, not, not, uh, yeah, good, good, <laughs> you know, logical. So he ordered to let him free, yes. Because of that, this person come to the prime minister daily to serve him in all respect, and love and gratitude daily for many, many, many years. Mm. Oh, always with a lawyer, loving, respectful heart. From the beginning to the middle to the end. And then, uh, and then one day he thought to himself, you know, this kind of sexual desire and activities kill people. Worse than knives, worse than knives and, and arrows. Because of that, I almost died and lost my life because I had some sexual thought, you know, at that time. Yeah. I guess he didn't know it was the king's ladies, you know, because he didn't see them. You know, he just trying to, uh, try to kind of seduce them or, or show in his passion by singing. That's why the king <laughs> want to kill him. If he knew it was the king lady, probably he wouldn't dare to open his mouth. You know, he would seal it with tape, zip, you know, and go away. <laughs> because in those days, the kings are absolute power, you know. If he, he want to kill anybody, no matter what, you get killed, you die, that's it, you know. No, no, no lawyer, no nothing can help you. So, so at the, uh, after he thought that, he come to the prime minister and say, uh, "Your honor, I was thinking that uh, life and death is so uh, impermanent and so fast, happens so fast to anybody. It's almost like a blitz in the sky, you know, in a stormy day, uh, as if." as if the candle in the wind, or as a drop of dew on the blade of grass. It disappears so quickly like that. Today we have it, tomorrow we don't. Or even this morning we have our body, afternoon maybe we don't have it anymore. It is this body, sooner or later, have to enter the door of death. So please, I beg you to let me go to find the truth for liberation. <clears throat> so the, the Prime Minister said, Ah, yeah, very good, very good, very good, good idea, good thinking. It's very good. But after you have uh, and attained the highest, you know, the, the truth, please come back and see me again one more time. Hey? Okay, so then he went to the mountain all by himself, yeah? and thinking, on pon pondering all over all the truth in life, or the ephemeral nature of the world, and not too long, he enlightened himself. He knows about the real truth. And he became the uh, Paitakya Buddha, something like that, in Sanskrit, I think. Okay, meaning a person who enlightened by himself, because truly want to be liberated, and truly contemplate day and night on the ephemeral nature of life. You see, truly want to understand the real, the real thing, the real nature. So he became uh, uh, Patekya Buddha, something like that in Sanskrit, meaning uh, alone Buddha, yeah, alone, lone Buddha. 
And then after he, he became a lone Buddha, he kept his promise. He came back and see the prime minister. But I guess he didn't. He didn't come back uh, physically, because here he was in 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 the uh, in the sky, yeah. And then he has he oof, he saw eighteen. 18 magical power, yeah? Like he can fly in the air and then uh, his body produces fire and water at the same time. Uh, and then all the body is full of light, uh, brighten the whole, the, whole, <laughs> the whole area. So the, the prime minister saw his uh, manifested body um, transcendental body was very, very happy. And then he said, uh, please, uh, Buddha, I have the chance to save you last time. Uh, bless me so that day, day after day, oh no, life after life, I have good position and richness, comfortable life. And also, my, my intelligence, my wisdom will be also like yours. And then at this time, the Buddha reminded the king Asate, first, Your Majesty should know that the, uh, the prime minister who saved only one person's life at that time, this, it is the, this boy. He saved only one life. Yes. Because of that, whenever, wherever he's born, he's never die. He's never die. He has never died too early. You know what I mean? Prematurely. I mean, he lived a long life and healthy life. And then, because of that, also today he can meet me personally and became my monk. Just one person. After the Buddha said that, all the people in the assembly, monks and lay, are very, very happy and have more faith in the Buddha and in the uh, precept of the non-killing of Ahimsa. Finished. Good. Oh, this. So I'm sorry. That was not the swallow of the, the fish. It's a similar story. I thought this is the one. I have another one, uh, when the baby was swallowed by the fish and won't die. But this another time. Okay, huh? I let you go out, take a rest, and uh, if talk to each other, then uh, you know, because you don't see each other a long time. I understood that that you want to, you know, tell each other stuff, exchanging experience. You know, practice is okay, but don't don't be too loud. We become like a like a loud speaker here. You know, I guess daytime no problem, huh? No, nighttime only. Nighttime then quiet. Okay, daytime speak, but try not to talk too loud. You don't have to talk too loud. If somebody like you, he will all ears. You know? <laughs> okay. And if you like somebody, you don't even need to talk. You just blink. I have to tell you everything. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Before I come here, I receive a email from my friend. Okay. They are the government. They want to decide or the government decide? Decide or, or think about the stop every year, kill the cow. Okay. Killing the cows. To worship, uh, to worship the, uh, uh, the god. Forging god. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Should be like that. Should be like that. Should not kill anything at all. Yeah. Should not even raise them to kill. Yeah? Yeah, because some people have a very funny concept. Oh, when I talk to them, they say, I only raise the cows, I don't kill. 
but he sells <laughs> to the slaughterhouse to kill. What's the difference? Yeah? Okay, then I see you later, okay? I know you have, I know you have many things to tell me. I know you have many things to tell me. We take forever then, you know? And we have to have, maybe we have that place, and if it's better, then I will stay longer, and then you can come and go and tell me all kind of things, okay? Come whenever you want. I wish so. I hope so, okay? And then maybe later, if we have an island or something, then we all quiet. <laughs> all quiet, just laugh all night through. <laughs> we don't talk, we just laugh. <laughs> Okay, see you soon and and bon appetit. Okay. I know you know all this about the precept, but it's nice to be reminded, refreshing again, you know? And especially when it's a true story and it, it worked. You see what I mean? It has a result like that. And the Anand don't tell lie, Buddha don't tell lie. Even though it's written uh, 2,000 plus years ago, but it's a true story. Yes, it's written according to Anand's uh, um, re recollection. Yes, and he's a monk. He don't tell lie. You know that, okay? Uh, and it's uh, translated from Sanskrit. Yeah, direct from the the collection of the stories at that time it's into uh, Chinese. Yeah. And then now the, China, the Vietnamese translate into Vietnamese, and I also translate into English. <laughs> I did the best I can, okay? And even though maybe some grammatic mistake or I don't translate as smoothly or as elegantly as I could, as I should, but you know, I, I'm not a very talented translator, so you, you have the truth, okay? And that's enough. <laughs> that's important. Okay, no problem. I also meditate too long, you know, mm -hmm. my, my joint. Mm -hmm. oh, someday I meditate, I couldn't get up. Mm -hmm. I have to stay there for a long time. After meditation, still have to sit there because I couldn't get up. Because my, my knees doesn't listen. Okay. See you. Love you. Love you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. I think I, I, I need only one sentence. Everything else is not important. I love you and everybody understands. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese, or Vietnamese, whatever, right? You yeah. understood that word. <laughs> it's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You go up and down the staircase. Be careful, okay? Don't yes. rush. Don't jump onto each other. Hold onto the rail. Yes. I know you are strong, but you never know, okay? okay. Because I fell down and I hurt myself, and the sky is still here. But I, I covered it. The sky is right here. It was very bad, and you know, the legs and everything. And the, uh, all the legs and other scar heels, just the face don't heal. Because it's too deep. Many people die because falling on, on the stairs, okay? So I'm still lucky, but you take care, okay? Yes. Tell each other all the time, okay? The staircase. Sometimes you you just uh, distract it and then you miss a step, and then it's finished. You see?